Hello there, and welcome to, oh, we're not at the Almost Homestead, are we? Why no, we are not. <laughs> we are at the park. I'm super excited because now that our snow apocalypse has finished, I can go back out on the trails again. And that makes me all kinds of happy. So I thought I would take you with me and see if we find any cool stuff today. Which, I mean, at the very least we'll find inner peace, which is pretty freaking amazing. But get your coat on, it's kind of cold, and just so you're aware, you may see me with hat hair later in this video, because I'll wear my hat and coat when I first start out, but the minute I get warm enough, that hat will go off. I hate wearing hats. All right, grab your stuff and let's go. Check these out. I could be wrong, but I think these are a look-alike of turkey tails. It's a little hard to tell today because they're wet and soggy, but you can see this is what they look like from the front. This is what they look like from the back. We'll take this one off since it's already a little damaged. And now you can see the underside. So this is clearly not a turkey tail. Turkey tails have pores, they don't have gills. And these have gills. Hmm. It's interesting, I wonder what they are. Look at this moss I, well, I don't think it's a loss. I think it's a lichen, like lichen, however you pronounce that. Anyway, it's so pretty. It looks like kale, but uh, I'm not gonna try and eat it. <laughs> I think that would go badly. Ooh, check this out. This is amber jelly fungus and it's edible. You can actually pick it, take it home and stir fry it. They say it doesn't have a lot of taste, but that it has a really cool texture. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, Oh, I think I did bring a bag. Let's grab a few. Oh, and before I grab the bag, also check it out. We have rose hips. That's awesome. I did not think there would be any of them left, but there are. They're a little bit past their prime, but I bet they'd still be good. We're not taking those. So we grabbed a few, left plenty because ethical foraging is the way to go. And there's also more over here. So we'll take those home, but I bet we'll find a bunch more while we're out here. And check it out, more jelly fungus. However, this part of the woods is the oldest in the park. So I do not touch anything here or take anything they, from here. So those are gonna stay where they are. And another cool fungal growth. I think this is one of the polypores, possibly white cheese polypore, but I'm not sure. Sorry, I know the camera moved a little bit. Anyway, I don't believe that they have any um, edible value. And even if they did, I'm still on that same uh, trail. So bye fungus. So this is really interesting. I don't know where this mushroom comes from. However, I do notice that there are quite a few of them scattered on the ground here. Check that out. We've got one here. I love how the underside looks a bit like leopard uh, spots or coral. See, there's another one. Huh. I don't see anything around that they would have come from. Appears just a, just a tree. Um, thinking maybe birch. 
I don't know, I'm not really a tree expert. If you know, I would love for you to comment below in the comments section, but let's continue on our trail. Ooh, look at these. Wild onion or wild garlic, probably wild garlic. I don't know, but either way, they would be delicious. And I'm really excited that they're up already here at the park. Oh, I guess it was an American beach, cause look, here's one that looks the same with the same kind of leaves. Whee! And there's a nice little label. Check out the pretty moss on this log. Oh, so pretty. No idea what it is, but I love moss. Ooh, check this out. A nut that is still on the tree, which fell over. We had a lot of storms this year. Um, plus, during our cold apocalypse, we had uh, really high winds. So I'm not sure if that is damaged from the last set of storms or if it's damaged from the last big wind winds we had during the cold apocalypse slash polar vortex. Huh, but either way, yep, very cool. Well, this is unexpected. I found jelly fungus on the ground. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Sorry if you just heard my tummy roll, rumble. Yeah. Check that out. And there's more here, but it's actually like, it's attached to something, which is cool. Well, we're far enough off of that trail that we will go ahead and take this and add that to our tiny little stash. Now, this is something I have been really curious about. It's in a birch tree, or a beech tree, and we see these a lot. And down here, you can see it more closely. I tried to look it up online and find what it is, but I there were several results that came up and I couldn't figure out which it is. So if anybody has any wisdom or insight, I would love to know what you think this is. Now this is one I don't find much. Oh, sorry, I had to get down on the ground. This is also a jelly fungus, but unlike the others, it's light colored. It's not the dark brown. Huh, isn't that cool? Well, I am at home and nice and warm now still wearing my hat because, you know, hat hair. And I'm about ready to cook the, the uh, jelly fungus that we found. So let's see how it goes. So first of all, this is our amazing jelly fungus haul. Always ethically foraging, making sure I don't take more than the habitat can, can survive. Okay, we've got our jelly fungus stir frying in the skillet with sesame oil and garlic and ginger. Clearly, I'm off on my ratios. <laughs> there is a lot more ginger and garlic than there is of a jelly fungus. No idea how long we're supposed to cook this. Nothing I found says. Of course, it didn't look really hard either, but uh, they, the recipes I found included it in like veggie stir fries. So anyway, I'll give it a minute or two and then I will show you how the taste test goes. And it's done, I hope. Well, I was going to try this with my husband, but he's actually still in the shower. So, let me get a piece. Here we go. I mean, 
The taste is good. The texture is weird. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like savory jello, which I guess, I mean, I should have expected, but like, I don't know about that. I think it would be better if I had meat in there with it. So I may add some chicken next time. That would be delicious. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our adventure in the woods and now the adventure in the kitchen. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and eat something wild, maybe a jelly fungus.